All right, Kay and I are back at it. We're walking back over to Disney Springs. Stairs are not my friends, but we're gonna go try out Eat, new place, so it's not a, not a far walk. Uh, and go take a look at this Indian restaurant that's supposed to be spectacular, celebrity chef. I don't know who she is. I don't know a lot about it. We looked at the menu. It looked really good. So, we're gonna go over there, eat some dinner, try some food out, maybe learn a thing or two, maybe teach someone something, never know. And then, uh, then cap off the evening with a hot tub uh, adventure, which I, I don't think I'm gonna bring you guys along for. Cause some stuff's just mine. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. More stairs, guys, and the older you get, they're even hard going down. These, these are the sacrifices you make for yourself and your public. It's really not that difficult. I'm just whining. I love how everything, though, takes a little bit of a different flavor at night. Things are just, just a little cooler, attitude-wise and temperature-wise. All right, so we just walked in. Place looks really nice, and no reservations needed. We're just gonna order here at the counter, and then sit down. So I'm pretty excited about this. Ooh, they have a slushy. What's that? I want everything. I, I guess. All right. We're gonna order, and then uh, and then we'll get back. All right. So so far, I really like this place. Um, one of the problems I have with like with kava and chipotle is I never know how to really take care of the bowl. Like, I don't know what to order. Um, I'm trying to get K in there, but I guess it'll, we'll bring her in later. Um, this was really easy. So they just had a few options uh, rather than having to pick like nine different things and then they don't go together. This way, you just pop in there, protein, a rice, and a sauce. And that's that's it. And then we got the bread service and mango blossom. So you walk in, order at the counter, uh, pick it up, and then uh, and it will come to your table. And the restaurant is quite beautiful. See, it's very pretty. Right, okay, fire. All right, so starting from this side to over here, we have the honey coriander, mint chutney, garlic pickle, tamarind, and lime pickle. Then we have the whipped paneer and the roasted veggies. We have the garlic knot on top, butter knot on the bottom. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy, you guys. Thank you. So Kay's not really into eating on camera, we'll just get what she says coming back. So I guess I'm gonna try the bread service first and see how good those are. She just told us what everything was and I've immediately forgotten. I don't know what to do. So the first one I'm trying is the green one. Mm. That's good. Yeah. This is the red one. And then I can put below here what each one is. That one's good. Did you get water or did you bring it? Oh, my God. All right. This is the black one. Mm. It's kind of like Sanaa. Cause they're all delicious. Yeah, that's right. Cause I did that there. Mm. 
That's almost like a tamarind paste. Kind of reminds me of when they make that- those ribs. And then this is the. I'm gonna get some water. Grab some. We grab some napkins too. The non really good. I could almost just eat the naan. It's funny, you know, side note, I keep seeing people do these things on uh, on the interwebs, and uh, it's much harder in real life. I'm going to try a case salad. On this one. Like, I don't know what to say. How do I make this interesting? I can't quite get the camera angle to have you watch me film. But now it's just a head of me eating a salad. I'm also probably not great with like flavors and describing them, but that's really good. Whatever that dressing on there is really crispy. It's really good. Oh, you're good. So it's got pickled cabbage. Let's see. It's a pretty good size. It's a lot of food. Mm. Oh wow, there's a lot going on here. I guess you're supposed to mix it all up, right? Yeah, I would say so. Oh, it's got a little spice, but nothing, uh, it's perfect. It's hot, but without, like, I'm not reaching for that mango last. It's a lot of food. Mm-hmm. Like, we're definitely going to be carrying some of this back to the hotel room. Huge. This, this puffed rice is like little miniature kicks cereal. Oh. These guys? Oh, those guys. Oh, yeah, I have some of those, too. I would have liked to done doing Manit Chowan. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. Sorry. Did we just miss her, right? Wasn't yeah, she, here? she was here on the 19th. And then she's here April 15th. And then in May and June, and she comes in and... My buddy Lou did did the meal where you get to meet her, and like I would love to have the food explained. And mm-hmm. Like, Let's see if we get a different angle. So can't quite get you in there. Yeah, there's a lot going on. And puffed rice, and their garbanzo beans, and lettuce, and samosas, and like it's very finely shredded cheese. I think if you're gonna do the bread service, like. I hate to say it, but we could have skipped one of the other. You know, mm-hmm. we probably could have split one of these and done the bread service, and that would have been plenty. Yeah. I like how everything is compostable, like the straws. They're not the paper ones, but they're compostable. Oh, okay. All right, we are leaving an embarrassing amount of food still on the table. This is a lot. Again, the non and one entree would feed two people without even blinking, but. We wanted to try all the different flavors and save room for dessert. So I'm going to go back up and get mine and grab this dessert, and then we'll see how good that is. But so far, A, A plus. I definitely, I love these flavors. They're so good. They're unique and bright. She's a little non-committal on the gray, but she says she likes everything. Mula Jamin Cheesecake. There's a strawberry combo. It's good. It's very, um, not sweet, like, or not too sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, it almost tastes like there's banana in it. Something. But they use a lot of that tamarind paste. Let's take a look at the Book of Knowledge and see what they say. New York Styles Cheesecake. That was weird. It just jumped. 
New York Stouts, Gulab Jamun, Saffron, and Cardamom. Uh-huh. Cake and pick out spices. Mm-hmm. Um, so now I want to know what Gulab Jamun is. Traditional Indian dessert of fried dumplings scented with cardamom and soaked in rose saffron syrup. That's what that is. What's that? Those. So this is the gulab jam. Kind of reminds me of a um, of like a rum cake. You know, like uh-huh. it's soaked with yeah with liquid. I feel like everything here is very intentional. Yeah. Like all the flavors are, it's almost like baking. Like it seems like you really have to mm-hmm. measure everything out and make it just right in order to make it taste right and perfect. All right, so that was really good. That's a lot of food. Even the girl at the counter was like, yeah, it, the portions are huge. So I think it was like, what, 70 bucks? Something like that. I'll, I'll put it over here, but uh-huh. it was, uh, it was delicious. Again, a lot of food. Didn't didn't need. I'm almost embarrassed at how much food I put in a box. I think it's crazy. But I would I would definitely go back there. It was nice because you didn't need a reservation, so you could just pop in and uh, you know hit go to the counter, grab a table. But we were noticing. We're gonna kind of walk down here now. Noticing that the. Uh, the crowds are not too bad, and this is spring break. This is when we used to come, and it was crazy. Yeah. But we walked through World of Disney earlier without much ado. So anyway, that's Eat. We loved it. I'm not very good at doing dining reviews. Cameras might be boring. I don't know. I. I who knows? No one knows what I'm doing. I'm just having a good time. So thanks, and uh, here, enjoy some Disney Springs. It is surprising. I mean, this is this weather is fabulous. Yeah. I would, I would think this would be the ideal time to be here. <laughs>